two, part two, part two, part two, part two, part two, part two. Hey, okay. So, um, military entrance process station. After your, oh, if you didn't see part one, check out part one. It's on my video. It's the one before this. Um, it's on my video list. Just uh, check that out. Cool. Uh, where did I leave off? Oh, right. Blood test and then your history. They want to make sure you're not crazy. Just keep answering no. You'll get through it nice and easy. Stay calm. Stay collected. Just nice and neutral. No, no. No, ma'am. Oh, I actually say no, ma'am, or no, sir. You have to be respectful. Don't just like, no, no, no. <laughs> you got to say, no, sir, no, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. You know what I'm saying. Uh, after that, I did my physical examination. This is when you have to get, take off all your clothes, except for your boxers. For females, uh, keep your bra on and your panties. Uh, for men, it's just the boxers and nothing else, no socks. Nothing like that, because what they're really trying to look at is your bone and muscle structure. They want to make sure that nothing's popping out of your neck, you don't have a hunchback, and, and like you're walking crooked, and your feet are messed up, or something like that. They want to make sure that you're physically uh, capable <coughs> excuse me, of being in the Air Force. Uh, the funny thing is, you have to be prepared for it. They, like, they, didn't, prepare for, they didn't prepare me at all. Like Mentally, you got to be prepared when you're about to walk into a room full of naked people. Like, it's just, they separate men and women. Uh, let me make that clear. But still, uh, they were like, all right, Mr. Simmons, everything looks good here. Uh, yeah, if you just walk down that uh, hallway, make right, and the first door on your right, just go ahead in there, and then you'll finish your physical examination. I was like, yes, ma'am, thank you very much. And I'm walking down the hallway, turn the corner, going down the hallway, and uh, I see the door, it says physical examination. So I open it up. And I open the door, and like I turn back, and I'm like, I, I wasn't sure if I was in the right room. I was like, what the hell? And I looked around, it's just like a wall on the side with like a little bench on it. And on the bench was like a pile of clothes. And standing on the other side was a bunch of confused men who looked probably about as confused as I was. And I was just like, ah, and I was like, okay, whatever. Um... So I, the guy, the instructor, he was like, take off your clothes, man. And I'm like, ah, it's just, this has never happened to me before. So I was just like, oh, it, it was a shocker. So I, I took off my clothes and that's still on the other side. And they'll have you do the duck walk. Um, they'll have you do like this, stuff like this with your hands. They just want to make sure that, you know, you don't have any bones popping out of the side or anything like that. They'll have you like scrunch your toes do squats, do like things with your hands like this, and then like, like force it down like that. I don't know if you can see it, like, uh, like that. And if you mess it up, they're gonna get like kind of irritated with you. They're like, come on, man, what are you doing? All right, they're gonna like look at you and be like, hey, he, something wrong with him. So you gotta make sure you get it right the first time. That way you don't have to worry about it. They're, they're gonna tell you to stop. They're gonna keep telling you to do it if you're getting it wrong. Because they want to make sure you can do it right. But if you do it right the first time, they're like, okay, number two, you can stop. Number three, you can stop. Number four, you're doing it wrong, keep going. Don't be number four, okay? I had a friend who was number four, and he had a terrible day. He was in there for like an hour after everybody had left because he couldn't do a duck walk. Um, duck walk is probably the hardest simply because it's just so unnatural. You've never done it before. Just take your time, go through it, listen to the instructor, and watch other people do it and take your Take your time. That's all you got to do. One step at a time. That's how I got through it. Because you don't want to do it more than one time. And you can't see, but I'm actually trying to do it with my feet right now. Even though I'm sitting down. But uh, after that, put your clothes back on. Leave. Uh, what else am I missing? You're going to have to do your blood tests. You're going to have to do... Oh, your eye and your ears. Eye test is just like a general optic, um, optic checkup. Just you gotta look into this machine. And it's gonna be a depth perception test. You gotta look at like, like these little dots, and uh, you gotta tell which dot is closest to you. And then you're gonna have to read. You're gonna have to. Um, they're gonna give you like a short story, and you gotta read out loud. Webster's Dictionary defines a mentor. Mentor as a wild lawyer. Blah blah blah. blah. You just read that, and they just wanna make sure that you don't have any speech impediments. Because if you do, then guess what? You can't be a news broadcaster in the Air Force. The, everything, everything that you're going to go through that day is tr trying to place you in the Air Force. See where you can fit in. Um, <clears throat> and if you can't see, you can't be a pilot. If 
you can't hear, you can't be a, 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 a radio, I'm not a radiologist, a cryptologist. Somebody who has to put on those headphones and listen to people talk all day. Um, stuff like that. Hearing test. You're going to go into this booth. I've never been in this booth before, but it was like amazing because you, you can't hear anything on the outside. If you can, you need to let them know because you're not supposed to hear anything. And it, it's, it'll seal off and you're in there with like three or four other people. You'll sit down on a chair and you'll stare at a wall. And the only thing that's coming out of the wall is like a little clicker. Whoops, sorry. It's a little clicker. And you got to hit the clicker. Every time you hear a noise, you're going to put these big old headphones on you. You got to click, 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 click every time you hear a noise. Now, if you don't hear anything, don't click. But if you think you did, click. Because it, it probably was something. It probably was. So just click, 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 click. Your recruiter can fix crazy, but he can't fix deaf. That's what my recruiter told me, you know? Like, if, if you just click for no reason, then it's better than if you didn't click, even though there was a noise. But that's basically it. Oh, you're going to have to take the ASVAP. Uh, the ASVAP is the... Jesus, what's it called? The... I'll have to get back to you guys on that. The ASVAP is basically um, a test to see how smart you are. It's called the... Hold on, I'm, I'm Googling it. Google is a thing. If you guys have any questions that I haven't answered, just check Google. It, how is it not on the ASVAP? They didn't tell you what the acronym stands for. Okay, I'm sorry. But ASVAP is the something service vocational aptitude battery test. I, I can't remember what the A stands for. But it's a test that tests your general knowledge. It's like the SAT, but a lot easier. It's like one of those standard testings. Um, it takes like, I'd say like uh, two hours or so to complete. If you're in high school and you took it like me, then you don't have to take it at MEPS. But some people have to take it at MEPS, and it takes them two hours longer to get through their day because they got to take the test. Um, at the more I got a 77 on my ASVAP, which is outstanding. Um, the highest you can get is 100. The lowest you can get and still get into the Air Force is like a 55, I think. So, um, I'm like right in the middle, but once you get past like 70, you can get just about any job in the Air Force that you want. Um, luckily I got a 77. I'm not luckily, you know, I'm smart, you know what I'm saying? I'm just playing, I'm not. <laughs> I just, I just, I took it a couple times, so I got used to it and I got better each time. My first test, I got a 40. Second test, I got like a 50 something. Uh, you just gradually get better. Um... You gotta take the ass back, and that's basically it. The lunch is terrible. It is terrible. <laughs> I got like this ham sandwich, and I ate it all because I was extremely hungry, but it was not very good. Uh, you'll get some water or some soda. That's basically it. Just stay patient, um, get some friends, <laughs> make some friends while you're there, because they will help you out. They'll... But hey, man, how was your. How was your... How, was, how did it go for you? All right. And you can talk about it and just like, hey, man, watch out. She's going to tell you. She's going to ask you some trick question and sh or watch out for him. He's kind of mean or something like that. It just, it's nice to have somebody to talk to, you know. Um, first time I went to, through, I had like three or four guys who I met. And it was just like, cool, we're just sitting around. They were going to the Navy. I was going to the Air Force. We had one guy from the Marines. And it was just cool. We were just talking about what we're doing in the Air Force and what's up in our futures and stuff like that. But, um... Hmm. I hope I didn't leave anything out. If you guys have any questions, you know where to put them. Comment section below. Cool. Uh, see you guys later. Peace. Where's the button? Oh, here it is. Okay. Bye. <laughs>